I have a feeling I know how this is going to go. And I'm just kind of excited for the comment section to like rip me a new one. Hey everyone, it's Ashlina. Welcome back to my channel. Taylor, Taylor Swift. Girl, I was about to react to your full album, which I technically still can, but like the surprise double album with like what, 31 songs or something crazy like that? No, I am not ready for a two hour reaction. Well, two and a half with commentary. So that's not happening on this channel. But if there are songs you guys want me to listen to, I'm down to do it. Warning, I'm not watching music videos. I don't do music videos. Yes, I've seen some of her music videos. Some of them are cool. Some of them are not. But if they're live, I'll watch a live show. Like I'm down for that. But the reason I picked this one, not because it's the first single from this album, is because I'm a Posty fan, okay? I want to hear what Post has done with Tay Tay. So we're going to listen to the audio of Fortnite featuring Post Malone. And I'm going to let you know my thoughts. PSA, I'm not a Swifty, okay? I do love some of her songs. And a lot of her albums, I'm just not into it. So don't get upset. Everyone has their own musical likes and loves and dislikes. So don't jump on my ass today, okay? <laughs> um, I will be honest, I do own one Taylor Swift final, and it is Midnight's, okay? <laughs> I think that is a great album. I don't give a shit what anyone says. The only other album that I do really love is Red, and I would love to own that on vinyl one day, but I'm not out here searching for it. Like, just... I'm just not searching for it. If I happen to be at a vinyl shop and it's there, I definitely would purchase it, but not ordering it online because you resellers are crazy. All right, let's listen to the song. First, I'm going to pull up the lyrics. Taylor Post lyrics. I'm telling you, Genius.com has the best lyrics. I love, I just love how it's laid out. Anyways. Okay, this was produced by Jack Antonoff, which is amazing. He's also done Lana Del Rey, who I'm obsessed with. So let's listen to this song. And listen, I'm going to be honest. Okay, that's what this channel's for. I was supposed to be sent away, but they forgot to come and get me. I was a functioning alcoholic. Here's to 
Okay. I think the thing that bothers me the most is the fact that, like, Post didn't even get his own verse. Like, this happened with Lana Del Rey. It's like when Taylor features an artist, they're not really doing their own thing on the song. They're always, like, backup vocals or singing along with her, which drives me crazy. I'm going to be honest, guys. I thought this was kind of boring. I'm not going to lie. It sounded very, like, 80s um, with, like, a new age kick, I guess. Um, I'm just on genius.com and it says this is obviously about her breakup to Joe Alwyn. There were rumors that he was dating Emma Laird. I don't know. I'm not, I was, I'm not feeling it. I'm just, I'm, I, I don't see how this is like a first single type of song. I just, it's a little boring. Although the melody is really pretty. It's just, I don't know. And I didn't really like the lyrics. Uh, I was really hoping to like this because I love pretty much everything Post Malone touches, but I don't know. This one's just not for me. Yeah, I'm trying to really look at the lyrics and see if there's anything that I liked. And I'm just like, mm. the best part of this song is probably the ending. <laughs> I'm not trying to say when it was over or anything like that. I just think the best part was like the vocal layering effects. All in all, great production. Jack Antonoff great production. Posty, you sound great. Taylor, you sound great. It's just not a song I'm going to listen to ever again, to be honest. If there is a Taylor Swift song on this album that you guys think I would like, I'd be happy to listen to it. I'm just looking at the 31 songs and I'm just like, what in the fuck? This is so much music. And the thing that's crazy is like, when did she even do this? Was she not on tour? I'm, I have to say that's pretty fucking impressive that she was on this humongous tour, what the biggest tour ever, and she 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 made thirty one flippin' songs. Insanity. I heard a rumor that "Thank You Amy" is about Kim Kardashian, which probably was not needed since you know Kim loves free publicity. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. You guys tell me what I should listen to on this, but. I'm not, I'm not feeling it. I'm going to go look at the comments for shits and giggle. Yeah, I think the only lyric I liked was, I love you, it's ruining my life. That's probably it. Nothing crazy. I'm so disappointed in myself for not liking it, of course, not in Taylor Swift. I'm sure the album is wonderful. Um, but again, I have listened to full length Taylor albums and some of them are just not for me. I really enjoyed Midnight's. I really enjoyed Red. I enjoyed all of her country stuff. Um, 1989, meh. You know, it's just, you know, I'm really happy for all of you fans who are getting this ginormous album. Um, but I have to ask, does it not make you a little upset that she came out with two technically? Well, it's a deluxe. I would say it's a deluxe album when you already bought the album or pre-ordered a vinyl, I would have been pissed. <laughs> I would have been pissed as someone who collects vinyls. And if Taylor Swift was one of my favorite artists and I pre-ordered it, and then she came out with this 31 flipping album and then releases another, like, I don't even know what, four, six, eight vinyl. I don't know. This is nuts. Someone literally commented, Post Malone got the same treatment as Lana. And that's exactly what I said. So um, if you're going to feature artists on your songs, give them, a, give them a little bit of a spotlight. That's all I hope for. Anyways, I'm going to talk to you guys about my vinyl of the day. I am a huge Mumford & Sons fan. So when I saw this available at my local record shop, I was like, fuck yeah. Uh, Sigh No More. When this album came out, I fell in love with this band. I love the folkiness. I love um, the lead singer's voice, their lyrics, the mood it sets. I've seen them live during this um, album and oh my God, it was one of the best concerts because the lead singer, Marcus, he forgot the lyrics to one of the songs and the whole crowd at this stadium venue started singing it back to him and he actually choked up a little bit and it was so sweet because this was their first like big like stadium tour and it was kind of like I made it moment for him I guess and it was just so sweet to see that in person and to be on the floor 
just jumping and screaming along with everybody else. But yeah, if you don't know Mumford and Sons, check them out. You might like them if you're a Tay-Tay fan. Who knows? Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video.